Who in the right mind even thinks about taking a cold shower? Yep, so according to today's date, the 14th of June, I've done 152 days of cold showers. Damn. Before I tell you the benefits that I've felt so far, I would like to address the question that the guy in the beginning asked, why would you even think about taking cold showers? And to that I'd say there are many reasons, but for me in particular, there were, there were two that inspired me or that made me continue to take these cold showers. Reason one, self-discipline. One of my New Year's resolutions this year was to become a better person compared to what I was last year. And I thought that the first step I'd take is to develop my self-discipline. I believe that taking cold showers is the fastest way to improve yourself initially because you feel the immediate benefits after taking a few compared to the more delayed gratification which you get from reading books or journaling. Reason 2. Gratitude. My other reason was to feel more grateful for things that I do not naturally feel grateful for or grateful enough for. A term called voluntary discomfort by the Stoics. When you purposely make yourself uncomfortable in situations, you realize over time that it's only a mindset that matters and that if your mindset is powerful, you can overcome anything that comes in your way. I am genuinely so grateful for my past self for choosing to take cold showers because I haven't felt better or haven't felt this good in such a long time and if I hadn't been taking cold showers for so long I honestly wouldn't be where I am right now. Improvement 1. Actual self-discipline. Before I would have to force myself to read, to journal, to do my work on time. But now, thanks to cold showers, thanks to the self-discipline it built for me, I no longer have to force myself. I can listen, oh, my mind listens to me now. If I say we have to do the work, I, I do the work. And that was, that was not the case before I started cold showers. Improvement two, better skin. The acne I had on my upper back has reduced significantly thanks to cold showers. And my face has also glowed up quite a bit. My friends ask me what my routine is, and I tell them the normal, like I cleanse, I use serum, I use a toner, etc. And I tell them in the end that I also wash my face with cold water because of my cold showers. <laughs> Every single person I've talked to have told me crazy for doing that. They're like, dude, that how do you do that? You're mad for taking cold showers. Improvement three, increased energy. I have had some pretty early classes for uni this year where I have to wake up between 6 to 6.30 a.m. so that I'm in class on time. And after every cold shower I took, no matter how little hours I slept before or how tired I was feeling, I'd always feel so energized after. I know that if I were to take a warm shower at that time, I, it wouldn't wake me up. I'd just feel more tired going to class and I wouldn't be as energetic or willing to learn. Three weeks ago, I had to do some all-nighters because I had quite a bit of work to do. And I took a cold shower before some of those all-nighters and they gave me so much energy. I did get tired in the end, but I was far more energized than I would normally be thanks to the cold showers. Honestly, if you're contemplating whether to do cold showers or not, and you've made it this far into the video, thank you. I would try at least for a month. If you can't do a month, try a week, see how you feel after that. But I'm telling you, there's no greater feeling than walking out of a cold shower. You feel so energized, you feel so fresh. Nothing I've done has come close to that feeling. Uh, trust me, you may experience this as well, but people will call you crazy for taking cold showers. They'll, they'll try and justify to you that warm showers are way better. They're good for your body, you know, it'll make you feel better in the long run, but you know, what you should do, you should acknowledge what they're saying, appreciate what they're saying, but continue on your journey. Me, personally, I'm going to continue doing cold showers. I have no thought of even stopping. And the thing is, it's not about the streak. 
it's about trying to become a better person every day. So even if I were to take a hot shower, let's say tomorrow, sure my 152 day streak will break, but that, that doesn't mean all the positives I've got will just disappear. The body doesn't work like that. It's not about the streak. It's just trying to become a better person and pushing yourself every day because that's what's actually important. If you have any questions, please comment down below and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so, so much for coming this far. I appreciate it. This is my first ever video like this. Sorry, I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm not that used to it yet, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.